Hey boys and girls, I hope you're having a great Sunday. Thanks so much for being with us. My name is Miss Nikki and I wanna give you the lesson today. Um, so last time we talked about how Jesus is the Son of God and this week we're gonna talk about how Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord of all. Jesus is Lord over our lives and over our hearts. So we're gonna read some scripture here first. So Romans 10, Verses 9 through 13 says, If you declare with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that Jesus, that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart that you believe and are justified in your mind, right? Okay, that you believe and are justified. And it is with your mouth that you profess your faith and are saved. As scripture says, anyone who believes in him will never be put to shame, for there is no difference between Jew and Gentile. The same Lord is Lord of all and richly blesses anyone who calls on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. All right. So first of all, when you say Jesus Christ is Lord, let's see what that kind of means. The word Christ means Messiah. So simply put, Jesus Christ is God in the flesh. He came from in human form on the earth. He lived here and he lived a sinless life. That means he was perfect. Can you imagine not making any mistakes? Can you imagine not saying anything that you didn't mean to say or being rude or giving your mom attitude? Not that you would do that. Anyways, he lived a sinless life and allowed himself to be sacrificed on the cross to save us from our sin and from death. Okay, so that makes sense what the word Christ means, right? He's our savior. He's the Messiah. Second, what does the word Lord mean? When you say Jesus Christ is Lord, Lord means ruler. So the Bible teaches us that we have been purchased at the high price of Christ's sacrifice. Our lives no longer belong to us, but they belong to God. As the Bible explains in 1 Corinthians 6.20, so we proclaim Christ is Lord to acknowledge that we are willingly submit to Jesus as the rightful ruler of our lives. So you've heard of kings and queens, I'm sure. Maybe you've seen it in a cartoon or in a movie or even in real life. They're still the queen of England, right? So what does that look like um, as a king or queen, they sit on the throne of the country, right? Who sits in the throne of heaven? God does. That's right. So let's imagine this. If your heart has a throne and God is the king, what does that mean for your life? What does it look like to have God sit on the throne of your heart? So that's going to impact the way if we let God be in charge of our lives, that impacts all different kinds of ways. That's going to impact how I spend my money, what I say to people, how I treat people, if I'm kind, how thoughtful I am, maybe putting others' needs before mine. If there's only one piece of candy, am I gonna give it to my friend or am I gonna be selfish and hold on to it? There's different ways that this can kind of play out in life. So our decisions and how we live our lives and serve others is based on if we let God be in charge of our lives and if he sits on the throne of our hearts. So how does that feel to let somebody else be in charge of your life? Does it make you feel uncomfortable? Or does it maybe feel like if your brother or sister are in charge, does it feel kind of bossy sometimes? Well, when we love Jesus, we take ourselves off the throne and let Jesus be in charge of our lives. It's because you can trust him, right? He has the biggest and best plan for your life. By letting Jesus take charge, we're saying he is Lord, the king of our lives. He's a good king and we can trust him to direct us and the world around us, right? So let's go over our memory verse. So our memory verse for today is 1 Corinthians 8, 6. There is but one Lord, Jesus Christ, through whom all things came and through whom we live. Let's say that one more time, okay? 1 Corinthians 8, 6. There is but one Lord, Jesus Christ, through whom all things came 
and through whom we live. Okay? So, last question. So, should we just uh, let Jesus be Lord of our lives on Sunday? No. Every day? Yeah, always. Because we can trust him. He's a good God. And we can allow him to guide and direct our lives and let him be on the throne of our hearts and not ourselves. All right, thanks so much for joining us. We love you. Have a great rest of your Sunday. Bye.